what is thalassemia what are the different types of thalassemia how we can diagnose this condition and what are the treatment options available to us these are some of the topics we are going to cover in today's video hello students i'm dr faisal and you are watching bioshin classes let's get started if we see from neat point of view this topic has been recently added in your ncrt so very high chances are there the questions may be asked from this topic okay so what is this thalassemia basically if we see from the word the word thala means c okay so word thala of the thalassemia it means c it is called thalassemia because this c it was first found and it is more prevalent around the mediterranean region or mediterranean sea it was seen it has been seen that this disease it is more common around the mediterranean sea that's why this disease it was given the name thalassemia okay it's a genetic disorder okay it's a genetic disorder and it is a quantitative disorder it's a quantitative disorder what is quantitative disorder in previous video we have discussed that sickle cell anemia was a type of qualitative disorder and this thalassemia it is a quantitative disorder of hemoglobin so let me make you clear what this quantitative disorder means hemoglobin it's made of two chains alpha chains and beta chains quantitative quantitative defect means or uh, quantitative defect means either alpha chains or beta chains are going to be absent or they are going to be reduced so there are two things either alpha and beta chains are absent or reduced either alpha chains or either beta chains they will be absent or they will be reduced so accordingly we can have two kinds of disorders we can have alpha thalassemia we can have beta thalassemia so alpha thalassemia will be when disorder is related to alpha chains and beta thalassemia is when the disorder is related to beta chains alpha can be alpha minor and major beta can be beta minor and beta major minor means alpha chains are reduced and major means alpha chains are absent here same beta minor means beta chains are reduced and beta major means beta chains are absent so alpha thalassemia and beta thalassemia they are basically a type type of quantitative disorder of hemoglobin chains either the hemoglobin chains they will be reduced or the hemoglobin chains they will be absent okay let's come back to same thing a quantitative disorder of hemoglobin chains chains may either be reduced or chains may either be absent okay they may be reduced or they may be absent so thalassemia it can be either alpha thalassemia either it can be beta thalassemia if the defect is in alpha chains it is known as alpha thalassemia and if the defect is in beta chains it is known as beta thalassemia beta thalassemia is beta major and beta minor beta major is also called as coolies anemia and in this beta chains will be absent in this disorder beta chains are absent and minor we will be having beta chains reduced in number beta chains ka number kam hoga intermediate condition you need not to know here the chains may either be reduced or they may either be absent okay beta major is absent and beta minor is reduced beta major is a very dreadful condition and uh, uh, it, the symptoms are very severe coming to the alpha alpha has four variants we can have alpha carrier we can have alpha trait we can have hbh disease or we can have hb barts disease why is this classification for alpha there let's understand here the alpha chains the gene controlling alpha chains it's present on the chromosome number 16 and we have four alleles means two genes controlling this alpha chain alpha chain is controlled by four alleles so we have total alpha four alleles okay and if we see about beta the gene controlling beta is present on the chromosome number 11 and there are only two alleles there will be only two alleles so what can happen to the alpha either one will be absent either two will be absent either three will be absent either four alleles will be absent either one of the alleles will be absent either two of the alleles will be absent either three will be absent either four alleles will be absent so that's why we have four conditions related to the alpha thalassemia and if we see the beta 
we have minor and we have major if one is absent it's minor if both are absent then it is known as major okay so we have if one is absent three will be present this is known as a carrier condition if two are absent two are present this is a trait condition and if three are absent only one is present this is hbh condition and if all the four are absent it is known as hb barts disease and it's also known as hydrops okay so these hb bart infants or fetuses they usually die in vitro they die inside the womb of the mother because this is a very dreadful condition now this is related to thalassemia classification alpha minor and alpha major beta minor and beta major okay alpha chains the gene controlling them are present on the chromosome 16 and there are four alleles and how that effects can be produced it may be either mutation or deletion and beta chains chromosome 11 two alleles are present and the defect may be because of the mutations okay what are the features of person suffering from thalassemia okay let's understand the features since the hemoglobin chains they are defective so rbc they will be instable and when the rbcs they will be instable it will result into the hemolytic anemia the rbcs they are going to destroy they are going to destroy either within the blood vessel either within the spleen because these are defective rbcs the hemoglobin inside them is defective so there will be hemolytic anemia excess of the rbcs they will be destroyed when excess will be destroyed there will be anemia and you know when excess of the rbcs they are destroyed it will result into the jaundice because more of the bilirubin will be produced okay so we have hemolytic anemia we have the jaundice to compensate this destruction excessive destruction of the rbcs the bone marrow increases its activity when the bone marrow increases its activity it results into the increase in the marrow cavity if this is a normal bone it has this much amount of bone marrow here okay this bone marrow produces some amount of cells but if the rbc cells they are getting destroyed more the medullary cavity is going to increase it will cause increase in the medullary cavity of the bone the bone will grow in size and medullary cavity will increase in size because it tries to compensate because all the cells they are coming from the bone marrow and when the size of the bones increase it's going to oh, it's going to give rise to characteristic chipmunk faces agar bone marrow ki cavity jo hai wo badh jayegi to face jo hoga in insanon ka wo characteristic chipmunks ka ho jayega the maxilla will be prominent the forehead will be prominent and mandible will be relatively small so they will be having characteristic chipmunk faces and if the loss is still more agar loss isse bhi zyada hai then extra medullary hematopoiesis will start what is this extra medullary hematopoiesis normally the hematopoiesis the cells of blood they are formed in the bone marrow lekin agar bone marrow compensate nahi kar pa rahi hai the cells they may be formed in the liver or they may be formed in the spleen cells spleen or liver dobara banana shuru karega because in embryonic life liver is a organ which helps in the formation of the blood cells और उसके बाद बोन मैरो बनाता है एंड इफ बोन मैरो फेल्स द लिवर अगेन स्टार्ट्स टू प्रोड्यूस द सेल्स इट रिजल्ट्स इनटू द हिपैटोमेगाली द लिवर साइज इंक्रीजेस द लिवर साइज इंक्रीजेस एंड वी सिमिलरली हैव स्प्लीनोमेगाली स्प्लीनोमेगाली हैपेंस बिकॉज़ ऑफ टू थिंग्स द स्प्लीन ऑफ अ पर्सन व्हिच इज नोन एज ग्रेवयार्ड ऑफ आरबीसीज इट इंक्रीजेस इन साइज बिकॉज़ ऑफ टू थिंग्स स्प्लीन का साइज दो कारणों से बढ़ता है नंबर 1 टू इंक्रीज आरबीसी प्रोडक्शन and second important to destruction that rbcs which are not working properly defective rbc they are destroyed in the spleen so the spleen size increases so we have hemolytic anemia we have jaundice we have marrow cavity increase we have characteristic facies which is chipmunk facies extra medullary hematopoiesis because of this hepatomegaly happens splenomegaly happens since the person is having less hemoglobin less rbcs the growth will be retarded there will be growth retardation the person will not be able to grow properly one very important thing is there will be ineffective erythropoiesis what is this ineffective erythropoiesis as soon as the bone marrow is going to form the cell it's going to destroy within the bone marrow because the cells are abnormal why the cells are abnormal because hemoglobin is abnormal so this is ineffective erythropoiesis bone marrow forms the cell but they are destroyed within the bone marrow only so the reticulo count reticulocyte count it is going to decrease maximum anemias jitne bhi honge body mein reticulocyte count badh jata hai lekin iske andar reticulocyte count decrease ho jata hai 
these are some of the features of your thalassemia you remember it as hemolytic anemia okay so how we are going to diagnose it there will be reduced hemoglobin you know this because there is anemia rbcs are getting destroyed rbc2 train to hemoglobin kam hoga agar hum माइक्रोस्कोप के नीचे देखें तो आरबीसी माइक्रोस्टिक हाइपोक्रोमिक होंगे दे विल बी स्मॉल आरबीसी साइज विल बी स्मॉल एंड दे विल बी हैविंग हाइपोक्रोमिया दे विल बी हैविंग लेस कलर दे विल बी पेल इन कलर एच बी इलेक्ट्रोफोरेस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल विच विल हेल्प इन द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ दिस कंडीशन एंड ऑस्मोटिक फ्रेजिलिटी टेस्ट इट विल बी डिक्रीज द आरबीसी विल बी मोर रेजिस्टेंट टू द एक्शन ऑफ सेलाइन नॉर्मली क्या होता है अगर हम आरबीसी को डायल्यूट सोल्यूशन के अंदर डालते हैं वो टूट जाते हैं लेकिन ये आरबीसी थोड़े रेजिस्टेंट होते हैं ओके तो दिस इज ऑस्मोटिक फ्रेजिलिटी टेस्ट दिस इज डायग्नोस ऑफ दिस कंडीशन तो व्हाट इज द ट्रीटमेंट अवेलेबल सिंस सिंस अ जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर वी डोंट हैव अ परमानेंट क्योर बट वी कैन डू द सिम्टोमेटिक ट्रीटमेंट हम इनको सिम्टोमेटिक ट्रीटमेंट दे सकते हैं एंड वट वी कैन गिव वी कैन गिव ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन दे आर द पर्सन हु लाइफ लॉन्ग डिपेंड अपॉन द ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इनके अपने सेल्स डिस्ट्रॉय हो रहे हैं सो वी रिप्लेस दम विद द ब्लड वी गिव दम ब्लड दे कैन रिसीव टेन टू ट्वेल्व यूनिट्स और यू कैन से ऑफ ब्लड इन अयर और विद इन सिक्स और सेवन मंथ्स दे रिसीव लॉट ऑफ ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन वी कैन गिव दम फॉलिक एसिड फॉर द मेचोरिटी ऑफ द ब्लड सेल्स बोन मैरो कैन बी ट्रांसप्लांटेड एंड इन सम केसेज वी कैन डू द स्प्लिनेक्टमी हम स्प्लीन को रिमूव कर सकते हैं बिकॉज यू नो द आर बी सीज दे आर डिस्ट्रॉयड इन द स्प्लीन विच काज इज एनीमिया सो इफ वी डिस्ट्रॉय द स्प्लीन Uh, some of the RBCs they are going to live. So these are some of the treatment options available for thalassemia. Okay. So if we are giving them recurrent blood transfusions, अगर हम उनको बार बार blood transfusions दे रहे हैं, if we are giving them recurrent blood transfusions, what are the problems they are going to face? They are going to having iron overload. उनकी body में iron बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाएगा because we are giving RBCs, they will be destroyed. And when RBC is destroyed. they give out iron so their body they will be having excess of the iron and what this iron is going to do it will go inside the pancreas and will cause diabetes theek hai unke pancreas ke andar deposit ho jayega pancreas ko destroy karega this will be known as diabetes okay it will result into a condition that is known as hemochromatosis theek hai hemochromatosis is a condition in which iron is deposited inside the body it will be having a condition known as liver cirrhosis the iron is it's going to deposit inside the liver and will cause liver cirrhosis it's going to destroy the liver parenchyma and very important thing bar bar blood chara rahe hain so they are prone to blood infections jo blood ke andar hiv wagaira hai syphilis hai they are more common to these infections so to prevent the iron overload we can give a drug that is known as desferoxamine this desferoxamine it's a iron chelating agent you know in coordination chemistry you might have discussed these chelating agents this is an agent which will chelate the iron it will take out the iron and it will take this iron out of the body so toxicity of iron it will be less so we give them oral desferoxamine for the uh, you can say problems of iron overload and these patients they have a very miserable life because uh, of these recurrent blood transfusions they are dependent upon the blood transfusions if we people donate blood they will be able to get the blood otherwise these people they are going to have a lot of problems in their life so if we summarize what is this thalassemia this is a disorder in which the number of hemoglobin chains is less this is a quantitative disorder if alpha chains are less alpha thalassemia or agar beta kam hai then beta thalassemia okay beta major is very dangerous and hb barts and hbh it's a very dangerous condition what will be the symptoms hemolytic anemia rbcs are defective they will be very fragile they will be destroyed and they will be destroyed there will be jaundice there will be chimp monk faces the spleen will enlarge the liver will enlarge to compensate the loss how we will diagnose it we will diagnose with the help of electrophoresis hb electrophoresis treatment is blood transfusions we have to give them recurrent blood transfusions and what is the problem they can have iron overload or they can have the recurrent infections this is all about your thalassemia and it's a type of hemolytic disorder we have covered sickle cell anemia and thalassemia okay in next lecture i will try to cover rbcs okay uh, agar aapko ye video acha laga like kare and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for any topic you want me to repeat or you have any kinds of doubts regarding these topics you can write in the comment box and your suggestions they are always welcomed thank you